Happy New Year everyone! Welcome to another episode of Play It Right TV and we are super excited to be talking to one of the most accomplished athletes of the country, gold medalist, SEA Games gold medalist, Asian Games gold medalist, and very recently world champion, Heidelin Diaz Naranjo. And her hubby, Julius Naranjo. <laughs> Hi guys! Hello. Hi po. Hi po. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So Heidi, have you decided that uh, are you going to be changing any of your documents like passport and adding your married name or no? <laughs> <laughs> Magpapalit ako. Kaya lang ngayon wala pang oras. Baka maraming paper. Hassle, no? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm preparing for Olympics. Yes, that's right. Okay, before we get into the Olympics, I have to ask you, kumusta yung Christmas nyo? Where did you spend it? How was your first Christmas as a married couple? Oh, oh yeah. We didn't even think of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh, di ba? We're together Gosh. that day. Yeah. We we spend our Christmas sa halahala. We had huh? sa halahala, sa Rizal. Then oh, okay. my partner with the kids. Then... New Year, we celebrated here in Manila. Kasi nga, pag Manila kasi, the, the New Year is, ang ganda tignan. Kasi dahil Oo. sa fireworks. Yeah. So, Julius, um, is this your first Christmas and New Year sa Philippines? Or mga second na? I think third. Yeah. Ah, third na. So, enjoy mo naman ang Christmas at New Year dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, yes, I mean, I barbecued, so, you know, it, it reminds me of home, and, you know, it's just um, just being able to man the grill, to, you know, to see the kids, our kids that were training, you know, seeing them mm-hmm. enjoy, uh, eating, you know, a food that I cook. <laughs> ah! And, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good feeling to, to I have. cook also, diba? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, so, I didn't nagluluto pala si Julius. Sino nagluluto sa sa family uh, sa sa inyong dalawa? Parehas Your, like luto. Yeah. He's more on grill and Japanese. Ako more on Filipino food talaga. Ah, talaga? Marunong ka magluto pala, Hydelin? Marunong pag hindi ako tinatamad. <laughs> anong anong niluluto mo? What kind of Filipino dishes? Marami. <laughs> Marami. So, yung madali, adobo. Madali ang adobo. Pero gusto ko ng tinola, nilagang, baka. Masarap ba, Julius, ang luto ni Heidi? Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. good. It's good. Yeah, dapat, yeah. Get... Da- oh, dapat, dapat sabihin mo masarap. But you, but you like Filipino food naman, no, Julius? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I grew up, I grew up eating um, Filipino food, so you know, uh, in Guam, so maraming Filipino, eh. and most of these yeah, Filipinos are from Pampanga, so they know how to cook. Yes, that's true. Okay, so right now I want to talk to you about your new title, Heidi, the World Championship in uh, Bogot, Bogota, right? Yes, yes. Colo- yeah, that was amazing. So, ano yung, uh, kasi masasabi mo bang super prepared ka or not really? And how, how tough was it to win that to win that championship? Actually, hindi ako masyadong prepared. Kasi nga, mm-hmm. galing, ay, galing ako dito, um, kaka-defend lang ng defense, thesis defense. So, oh, congratulations. Uh, Tapos naman, natapos na. Then after that, uh, may nangyari nung nasa US kami. So medical reason, health reason. Then after, so I just mm-hmm. have two weeks to prepare. And How I'm many just, weeks? Two weeks to go back again. Go back wow. again. Wow. Ibalik yung lakas ko and i-condition ulit ang katawan. Uh, i-drop, mag-drop weight ulit. Um, nagawa naman, nagawa naman. Ang importante naman sa amin kasi i-represent ang Pilipinas and sa akin, mas malaki lang yung pressure pero at the same time, masaya ako. Kasi nga, um, kahit ano nangyari, nandun pa rin, 
yung pagmamahal ko sa sports na mas nakita ko yung pagmamahal sa sports and yeah. and yeah, ano ng ng um, gold medal sa world championship sa Bogota. Colombia then, no? Actually, yes, sa Colombia. Well, two weeks lang pa lang preparation mo, Julius. Paano ginawa mo? Paano mo ginawa 'yon? Ang galing naman ng ano, training niyo. Hindi naman sa two weeks lang, kaya lang may nangyari kasi nung nung days before Mm-hmm. And the reason, so medyo naantala lahat ng preparasyon, pero pinagpatuloy pa rin. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, Heidi, how special is that to win the world championship? Kasi alam ko, iyan, yun lang ang parang kulang sa listahan mo ng mga medalya. Para sa akin, napaka-special. Kasi syempre, ito nga yung kulang ng medal ko, aside from, di ba, nag-gold, marami na akong gold sa SEA Games, Asian Games, Olympics, and World Championship ang yes. mga oh. Then, second, special kasi nandyan si Coach Julius, syempre. Wow! <laughs> na ako, naman mo na ako ngayon. So, yung pressure mas mataas sa akin at sa kanya. Then, third, um, special kasi parang ito yung 2023 yung comeback ko eh. Hmm. So, I have to still like, yung pressure sobrang taas and na ipakita ko rin sa sarili ko na kaya ko pa. Kaya ko pang bumalik. Yeah. Um, maglaro para sa Pilipinas. Yeah. Julius, um, what did you learn about Heidi uh, being able to overcome this latest uh, challenge and win the World Championship? What does that tell you about her? Uh, you know, I, I think, I think, you know, um, it shows that her experience in this sport her determination uh you know it it's it it shows you know she's a seasoned athlete and yeah that you know even though i had to adjust the training drastically um mm-hmm. during the injury it shows that she was able to overcome it despite um you know uh, also having to to overcome also like the elevation that was right. all the uh during the world championship like the elevation the cold uh and also i think it was the time of the month for her too so it's like everything just kind of oh, like wow <laughs> yeah it's 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 like the timing was bad but i think you know it just shows the kind of athlete she is the, to be able Incredible. to to be able to yeah to adjust so that's that's great that was amazing yeah Julius, you know, I know that weightlifting is such a mental sport. I mean, you really have to pretty much decide in your mind that you can lift what you're about to lift, right? There's a lot of talking to yourself. How do you keep Heidelin motivated? Is she hard to motivate? And uh, what really gets her going? You know, I think I think one of the things that we learned, and it's similar to the formula uh, from the last Olympics is, um, I think there is a sort of importance with uh, training abroad. And I think that's one mm. of the things that allowed her to stay motivated is the fact that I there's see. an experience. Tapos, yun, I mean, kasi there's maraming distractions dito. Eh. So, oh. yun, I think, I think in order for us to really counter that, we have to, um, you know, I want her to be training with other olympians i want her to be training right. when we went to the us you know she we trained with the olympians there and I, one of the olympians mm. you know so you know it's a it was a good experience to be able to to train in the us to meet i got my i was able to also pick the brain of the coach um there nice so like it's 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 more of like leveling up the yes experience. yes uh, and uh, just being able to keep her happy. I say she, yes. It's 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 a different experience to be able to go to the U.S. to experience a whole different type of uh, lifestyle, and then also you know stay true to the, to her roots. We, I mean, we didn't stop eating Filipino food in the U.S., so we met mm-hmm. a lot of very good Phil Am community who show the love and respect that she had, and it just it just shows that you know she's respected worldwide. Yeah, what city were you in? So we were in New York and in Atlanta. 
You, so, oh yeah, okay. So I get what you mean. Uh, parang yung environment of excellence really pushes her. So that that's good that you that you learn rather rather than just training alone, diba? When you're around uh, people who are so motivated and have high goals, parang na na push na push si Heidelin. So will you be training more in the United States? Uh, depende, depende na. Depends really on the, no, the where the competitions will be. But I think, you know, we've created a really good connection. And, you know, mm -hmm. for Heidelin to train with uh, world champions, to train with Olympians, to Olympic champions, it's something that I really want to continue to bridge the gap. I say, yes. uh, you know, uh, I want to take the knowledge that their coaches, you know, and I want to be able to see how I can implement it here uh, with our yeah. youth. So, yeah, and it's really a benefit for all of us. For you know, yeah, for, for sure. Yeah, it, our goal really is to, to you know, bring a nice, a good standard that we can continue to build off of. Yeah. Okay. So now, just confirm it. It in the next Olympics, the, there is no fifty-five kilogram category. And Heidi, you are moving up. And going to try to qualify for the fifty-nine kilogram. Is that correct? Yes, I will be moving up fifty-nine, and not try. I will, I will do my best to qualify yeah. for fifty-nine, and of course, um, win the gold, back to back. Yes, that's a goal. Wow, <laughs> that's a goal. <laughs> so I have, a, I have a que yeah. <laughs> I have a question. So yung pagkapanalo mo ng fifty-five. Does that give you any qualifying points towards the 59 na or yes, hindi? Meron. meron. Ah, okay. Pero starting now, do you have to start competing in 59 na? Yes. Kasi kailangan ko i-maximize yung strength ko. Kailangan kong i-train na rin ang sarili ko na I will be competing 59. So, um, kailangan na yung strength ko nandun din sa 59. Uh, and then... Na. Yung muscle ko. So, yun. Sila, sila na bahalang mag-prepare sa akin. Yung sakit lang na kailangan kong maramdaman <laughs> sa training. So, Julius, what are the challenges that uh, for Heidelin as she moves up in weight? Because that's well, you know, medyo a lot. Huh? That's four kilos. Well, you know, I think, I think the challenge will be, you know, um, developing the, the quality in weight. So we want mm -hmm. her to go up in weight, Good. more muscle. Quality weight, yes, yes. Yeah. Nako more muscle. <laughs> so like she's been, she's been, ano, medyo, ano, maraming reklamo na training kasi <laughs> maraming reps, tapos. Heavy uh, More sakit, more, more sakit. sakit. But, you know, you know, this is part of that, ano, that, that, that brings excitement in the journey. Uh, nice. The other challenge is, you know, is, uh, you know she, she's always undersized. She's gonna probably be one of the shorter athletes. No, right. But, but but now, but the good thing about it is that with her height, she's also more efficient with, with mm -hmm. her movements. So you know, and it's really about just um, setting the mind because we know she can do it. Um, but it's just it, it's gonna take time. So the expectation really is high, but we understand that the process. Is going to be in progression. So, yeah, is there enough time for her to? Well, she have the whole 2023 plus half of 2024, mm -hmm. right? Because I assume, assume the Paris is going to be July, ba? July, I think. Yes. So, is there enough time for her to get comfortable mm -hmm. in that weight division? Well, you know, the I think what a lot of people don't understand right now is the qualification process of the in weightlifting so yeah how is it compared five, to right? uh, we have five chances five opportunities four to five opportunities to secure the highest total in the region so our region is asia which is the most competitive region in um actually is 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 the most competitive region to be in so right now with her current uh, ranking she's ranked four or five in asia so she, she she fits the the threshold. So uh, now what we need to do is to just continuously continuously progress in her total. 
her total weight. That's why, um, you know, the goal really is to to build momentum and progression for each competition. So uh, that's where the 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 what is it? The qualification needs to be understood because it's not um, you win this competition, you'll get the points like in Tokyo. So can you explain? Uh, ano ba yung qualifying process para maka-qualify si Heidelin for the Paris Olympics in the 59 kilogram division. So with um you know the qualification process is more is different than the last cycle which was for Tokyo. Tokyo was with rugby mm. points. But for Paris since the athlete quota is down to 120 um they made a new qualification system that that um, that is based on total, so the amount of total. So if you're ranked top five in your region, so Asia, for instance, mm -hmm. then you you'd be able to qualify for the Olympics because there's Europe, Asia, Pan America, Oceania, right? And that's where you'd have to rank within. So since we're Asia, we um, we have to rank top five in total. So like you'll have like, let's say China has two strong athletes, only one will be taken. So that's why every competition mm. is more of you know, a progression. So it takes time. It takes time like we have, and I think we have enough time because every competition will build up towards our wow. total. So, so, how, so how, many, how many tournaments do you, plan to participate in in, in this year? Uh, f well, this year would probably be three to four. Three, I think. Three this year. Oh, okay. So, kailan yung susunod? Uh, in Korea? May, May then May, July. Uh, July. Or... No, no. It's May. May, September, and December. December. Yeah. yeah. We ah, have to choose... And all in the Asian region? Mm, Asian region, yes. Yes, we we have to be smart with the way we I know we plan towards it because, um, that would you know because we have to choose the competitions that we need to compete in. We have to be very picky because we can't do a competition that would get in the way of a, our preparation. We have to really set right. our minds to um the competitions that would count. So yeah, yeah. there will be. So, uh, that we be in. so Tama Ba, you have to be number one in the region. Uh top five. Um, top five. Top five in Asia. Top five in Asia. Top five in Asia. Okay, and sino yung pinaka mahirap na kalaban? Is it still China? I didn't. Mm. In the fifty-nine. The medalist. Um, Taiwan. At Taiwan. Taiwan. Okay. Then Colombia nung World Championship. Then Canada na kasama ko sa training mm, sa USA. Okay. At meron na ba ka USA also. And do you have some target weights now? Now yes, you want of to course. carry? Yes, yes. Meron, meron. Okay, but so it's safe to say that for this year you are super focused and determined to qualify for the paris olympics as you said amy for back-to-back -back gold wow so, sobrang focus sobrang focus na kaya nasa hala -hala lang kami sa probinsya okay but you're going to, probably going to be training overseas Yes po. Um, before competitions, uh, because baka May, uh, March pupunta kami. Then before ng Asian Championship, magte-training kami Japan or Korea. Then after that, before ng competition sa, is it Saudi? Sa Saudi, magte-training kami sa Qatar. Then after that, next is Qatar ulit, no? Qatar again or Thailand? Thailand. Thailand, yeah. So we'll be training in home. Yeah. Wow. We've we've. Wow. I, so I'm sure see your nutri. Go ahead. Oh, uh, we've done the research for the qualification and the competitions coming up. Some of them don't have a um, have a set date, but we have an idea of when. So 
um, we are preparing very, uh, we're preparing for this, for this coming year. Nice, nice. And I'm sure your nutritionist, Janet Aro, will play a big role once again in getting you in shape as you move up in weight in the next, for the next Olympics, right? Different um, um, diet naman, that meal plan. <laughs> so, but uh, I, I'm sure you're, you, as, as Julia said, you want to put on weight, but quality weight. So you're going to have to be eating very clean and <laughs> high protein, <laughs> good carb. I thought okay, more I, I promise you only 15 minutes. Yeah, I, I promise you only 15 minutes have gone over time. Before I let you go, yung ano ni na lang, New Year's wish, uh, pa, uh, New Year's wish, New Year's, New Year prayers for 2023 for yourselves and maybe for the other Filipino athletes in our country. I'll start with, you know, Julius. Uh, I, um, you know, I, I, uh, I pray for, you know, um, I pray that every athlete, um, you know, has the best training, um, has the ability, you know, try to be, um, uh, is injury free, the best training and all, uh, you know, continue to bring more pride to the country. Uh, aside from us, um, you know, I, I, lo I love seeing, you know, more and more Filipinos um, doing a lot you know, of things, you know, that they did in 2022. Hopefully to see more yeah. history, historical performances from all these other sports. It's inspiring for us. Um, you know, I pray for that our kids, that the youth that we're training, you know, we want to give them the best um, training and also, you know, train them to become, you know, um, to have the, the right morals and standards, um, you know, as they age as, and as they grow as people. And of course, you know, I pray that, you know, we make more time for each other as uh, a couple, you know, you know, sports is, is a big part of our, our relationship, but it, it also um, can't be the, the, the only part of our relationship. So that's something that I pray that we can work on as a couple, as a married couple now. Same luck. <laughs> Same luck. Beautiful. Oh, ikaw, Heidi. Uh, um, I pray for more goals or more athletes will compete in SEA Games, Asian Games, more medals. And I hope, I pray for more Olympians na sana mas marami pang atleta mabibigyan ng pagkakataon na to represent our country sa more competition this year because there are many competitions for this year and i pray na more budget for the mm -hmm. sports because there's a lot of um yes competitions this year and i know it's 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 hard for philippine sports commission because there are laro lima ata na national uh, games for this year and i pray for our athletes the weightlifters na na nila an tinuturuan namin ay Sana mas marami silang ma matutunan sa amin, mas maging malakas sila, at sana mas marami pa silang larong malalaroin. Then, I pray na this year, mag-graduate na ako. I pray that um, I'll be more strong mentally and physically for the Olympic qualifying. Yes. I pray for time for us as a couple beautiful amen amen to all your prayers oh by the way lalaban ka pa sa sea games at sa asian games this year or hindi na um baka hindi na Tin okay, magpapaalam yeah. 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 syempre we have to prioritize olympic qualifying pero titignan namin true true yeah i mean you true, know i true. think this is all right yeah yeah you have a tough task ahead you're gonna need yeah. to be 100 <laughs> percent well i would yeah. love to go to one of your trainings if ever na maabutan kayo dito sa sa pilipinas i haven't actually seen uh julius train heidi uh the last time because i watched you train the chinese coach was still there eh? so i uh, would love to watch one of your training sessions and all of us dito sa Play It Right TV, kami ni Kenito, we're always supporting you. And thank you so much for giving us your time. And we are praying for a fantastic 2023 for both of you. Please keep in touch. Mabuhay. And thank you for always staying so dedicated and 
committed to giving glory to the country in weightlifting. Mabuhay kayo. Happy Salam New Year. Year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you po. <laughs> Thank you. God bless. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed our catch up with Heidelin and Julius Naranjo. As you can see, it's so exciting to hear them share their dreams and to say that they're highly motivated again to qualify for the 2024 Paris Olympics. It's a hard road for Heidi to move up to the 59, but I was very happy to hear that she said she wanted to win back-to-back -back gold from the Olympics for the Philippines. So all the best, abuhay kayo, and God bless. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel, Plate Right TV, and please check out our sister company, PlateRight.com. They have wonderful world-class sports and fitness products for yourself, for your friends, and for the family. Until next time, in behalf of Kirito Henson, this is Diane Castillejo. See you next time on Plate Right TV.